Hey, this buddy. I made something for you. Because I love you. And I heard you were bored. Easy make concrete. This is for you to make concrete at home, wherever you want, in your bedroom, in the bathroom, out uh, on a picnic table. Have fun with it. Let's open it up. What's in the box? A mold and gray matter. My special concrete, my love language to you. And six of my favorite colors that you can mix and match and do whatever, but hey, let's just follow along together. Let's do it. What are you gonna need? You're gonna need the gray matter and the mold. You've already got that in the box. You're gonna need some gloves. Boom. I've got these gloves. You've got gloves at home. You've got dishwashing gloves. You've got some gloves that came with your hair dye kit. You've got gloves somewhere. Scrounge them up. I'm not going to send you my gloves because my gloves don't fit you. Uh, what else? What else do you need? You need a dust mask and you need some safety goggles. Again, your safety goggles, you have your own safety goggles. I'm not going to send you my safety goggles because my safety goggles don't fit you. But you've got some. Protect those eyes. Don't breathe in dust. Keep your hands clean. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm, I'm like a cat. I do not like to get my hands dirty. So I wear gloves. Crazy, isn't it? What else do you need? Water, sriracha water, to be exact. You've got some little containers that you pulled out of the recycle bin. Oh, garbage picker. It's not garbage, it's treasure. Let's grab a couple more. Recycle bins are full of useful containers. And using a container twice is a lot like recycling, except it uh, takes less energy. I've got butter knives. I'm going to mix concrete with butter knives. And I've got a rag. Let's go. So we're going to move quick. These are instructions on how to do this. And what do we got for colors? We got white. We got blue. We got charcoal. We got yellow. We got pink. And we got a minty green. White. Boom. Boom. And we just shovel some out. How much concrete? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty, uh, there's enough in these jars that I think you could probably do close to three of these molds. White. I'll put you to the side. Okay, what else? Blue. I like blue. But not just any blue. So we're going to go a little tricky on the blue. We're going to put some blue in. And then we're going to add a little bit of the green. And I also just want straight green. So I'm going to add some green here too. I think we got enough yet. Not sure. Keep going. And I also want a little bit of black mixed in with my blue, mostly blue, a little bit of green, and a decent amount of black. Ooh, that container's getting full. I could have put that in something different. Maybe I will for the purpose of mixing. I've got this container. I think I was supposed to put ketchup in it and dip my fries, but I never did. But now I'm using it for something. Let's keep this. It's sturdy, but it'll be fine. Yellow. You know what? Let's do this. Let's go yellow, pink, pardon, pardon me, pardon, monsieur, pink, and yellow together. This should give us like a funky peach. So with, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly confident with the colors I've given you. Uh, you can do a lot of different, you can do a lot of different stuff. Oh, that's pretty full too. Let's go. Oh no. Wipe out. That's okay. We're going to go bigger container. We're going to go. Here it is. Dessert tofu container. Are you still with me? I don't think we need these. And I think we've got enough. Our water, let's add it in. Actually, you know what? Start with your lightest color first. Don't start with blue. It's tempting because it's blue and it's beautiful and you think, I wanna mix that. 
and just mix it in. I have a, I have a concern with you and with me that will add too much water. Let's try not to add too much water. We want to make sure we mix in all our dry little bits. Mix them together. There we go. Real time. This is going to be a long tutorial, but it's in real time. Let's go pink next. So don't stress. I know, you're hoping this is gonna be a couple minutes. Follow along, let's do it together. Okay, this is, this is great. This is too wet. See how watery that is? Thankfully, we reserve some yellow gray matter. We'll just dump a little bit in there. Be careful with your water. Don't, don't go too much right away. I wasn't careful and you saw what happens. You don't want it too wet. Oh, we definitely got enough. Okay, that's a fun color. Look at this. We mixed some yellow and some pink together and we got a type of orange. I love it, I love it. But you can mix whatever you want together and mix whatever color you want. And it's gonna be amazing. Now let's do our green. This is just a straight up, no mixing, no fancy business on this one. This is a green that uh, we all lovingly refer to as mint Oreo. You can change it if you want, but I love this one. This is one of my favorite grains, and I mixed it. I made it. You know, every one of these batches that we make is perfect color. Perfect color for you. There we go. Mix it up. Little container. We're upcycling. You and me, we're upcycling together. That should be good. Last but not, not least, no longer a ketchup container. This is for concrete. Gray matter, my love language. What does that mean? It means that when I'm feeling uh, overwhelmed with emotions, I wouldn't say it's my love language. I guess it's my emotional language. Concrete is my emotional language. When I'm feeling overwhelmed with emotion, it gets output as concrete. Yeah, weird, right? I don't know how to explain it. That's the best I got. This is it. This is happens. This is what happens. I call it my love language because, well, it's also a way that I express love. But yeah, actually, primarily love, I suppose. It's my love language. When I'm feeling the most in love, I make something beautiful out of concrete. Okay, we got all our batches made. These are fun colors. What goes in first? Uh, let's just pour in, I do wanna just pour in some blue. Just, it's pretty heavy. I'm gonna pour in most of the blue like that. Now I'm gonna take my remaining blue, dump it in with these colors. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. There. Remaining blue goes in there. Put that to the side. Green goes in here. Put that to the side. And white. Put that to the side. Now we dump this in here. Oh, dessert tofu, I love it. Oops, that's okay. How full? My recommendation, don't go right to the top. Just go just under, so that here, here's how full. If I put my knife across here, concrete doesn't, well, my, my knife can rest on the mold, but doesn't touch concrete. So that's how full we go. And now I'm just tapping it out. Easy. This is easy. And we're doing it together. And we're going to have great success. And what are we going to make? We're going to make a little home for a friend. Look at this. 
cute, right? Or it's a thing for like pens and pencils or a toothbrush or whatever. I guarantee you've got a need for a tiny cup. And that, here's another fun part. You know what's fun? Things that are fast are fun. Things that where you get, I don't want to say instant gratification, but pretty quick gratification. I didn't need four knives. I'm sorry. Why did I take so many from the kitchen? I just needed one. And now you're thinking, dude, you're going to wreck that knife. We're not going to wreck the knife. Be chill. We're not going to wreck the knife. That's enough taps, right? Is I talking about something? Probably something a little concrete. What was it? Level. What do you put in here? Oh, the last fun thing. The last fun thing about this is that this is fast. In four hours, we can demold this. In four hours, this concrete will be stronger than any other concrete you've ever touched before. Think about that. Truth, respect, get rid of that. And now the knife, we're like, oh no, you wrecked, you wrecked me ma's knife, you're in big trouble. No, I didn't. Couple of drips of water, rag, wipe, wipe. Go put it in the dishwasher now if you need to, but it's clean. Don't worry. What about these? What do we do? Let them dry. Crunch this a little bit, crack it out into the garbage can, your dried concrete, once these are dried, and then recycle them or save them for making more concrete, who cares? Let's check, 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 let's check this out. Let's, let's check this out in four hours. That's the cured side. Bye everybody. Not everybody, bye just you. You, me, bye you, bye buddy. Four hours, I'll see you then. Hey, concrete friends, we're back. It has been four hours. Here's our mold. Now it's gonna do the demold together. Demolding is pretty easy. You just give it a little squeeze like this to release the release the edge. Brush off any crumblies. Get rid of those. Just kind of peel it back a little bit, a little bit at a time. Release the entire top first, and then. We're just gonna actually kind of turn this thing inside out. Go like this, go like boom. There's our mold. Turn that back, whoops, right side in. Looking good, we can use this again. I think we've got enough in this kit. Looking at the jars, we could easily get one more, maybe even two. You can for sure get two little planters out of this kit. And if you're lucky, maybe a little more. So here's our, here's what we made. Look at this, a little bit of swirling, smokiness. I like the colors, really clean, almost no voids, amazing. Cool little vessel, we made it ourselves. Now, one thing, we've got a little bit of an edge on here. You, it's not a big deal. You could leave it like that. Just use it like this if you wanted to, or you can get rid of the edge. I've got a piece of sandpaper. I found it in a toolbox just kicking around. I could go and buy a piece of sandpaper from the store, but I bet you've got sandpaper. Now I'm just gonna put this on the sandpaper, give it a couple little twists. Give it a little rub like that, that, that. There we go. No more sharp edge. It's nice and soft. Done. How you was how how easy was that? Now let's uh, make one together. I guess we made one together. Cut that. Cut that out. Cut this bit out. Thanks everybody. Uh, I had fun making this with you, and I hope um, I hope you had fun with this little home project. So any other questions, comments, whatever, you can get this from concreteconcrete.com. And uh, yeah, hope to, hope to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks.